do put a lot of pressure on myself. Of course, he took 2010 off. This year, we knew what we had to fix. We're on the road to a better bodybuilder. The goal was set for me to compete in the British Grand Prix, and it's on home soil. It allowed me to return back a bigger and better Flex Lewis. My motivation is my family. He has all that muscle. He has great genetics. Flex could be the one to win the Mr. Olympia. The first part of 2010 uh, was very difficult for me. It hasn't been a consistent off-season. I've done a lot of travelling for Gaspari, which is part and parcel of being a professional bodybuilder. I've been to countries uh, such as Australia, New Zealand and Poland. And, you know, you can't have the ability to, to eat when you want to, or you can't have the ability to eat what you want to when you want to. You know, the diet and the training, you've got to go around the promoter or, you know, you've got to go work around an expo. We've had probably about 18 months since his last showing. I think he's matured as a person. You know, he's sort of, he's, he's matured in his, in, in his age. He's more driven to looking at the bigger picture and what he's trying to achieve as well as being a, a professional athlete. Myself and Neil have been uh, working together since we were 19 years old. I met Neil when uh, I'd done my first bodybuilding show. He was a judge. After the show, in fact, he was actually at the break, he came up to me and he said, uh, you look really good up there, kid. You know, Neil, in my eyes, is more of a, a big brother, fatherly type. He gives me not only uh, advice and training and diet and everything else, he gives me life's lesson too, you know. So it's very, very exciting, the fact that he's gonna be walking on stage right at the top end of the scale, making some phenomenal improvements. And this is by far the best prep we have ever had working together. Because even though he's had a very, very positive career on his steps as a junior, progressing into the Mr. Classes and into the professional classes, it's been so textbook. He's definitely a champion in my eyes, um, whether he wins or loses. I know he's going to become the 202 Mr. Olympia. I know it. Well, I haven't spoken to Rich now since November, so I'm not even on friends anymore, so that's the... <laughs> no. <laughs> Rich, when I met him, first of all, it was at the Ironman and uh, we've had a laugh and a joke about this because I went up to Rich and I spoke to him and he did not know what the hell I said to him at all. We, we had like a 10 minute conversation and he just nodded and smiled away all the way through. I managed to meet up with Rich um, a few years later and he was at the uh, Europa Super Show and um, we were introduced to, through a friend of ours and uh, you know, Rich said, just keep in contact, you know, and you know, we'll send you some product and I want you to try out some Super Pump and, and I tried it out legitimately, Super Pump size on and I gave it a good run for six months and I put on eight pounds of muscle. And I saw this kid uh, with a lot of potential, you know, he showed me some of the pictures of what he looked like and I felt that this guy can be a really good pro. He was one of the smaller guys you know, the 202 class that was coming about. I saw great potential in Flex Lewis, even though he wasn't even pro yet. Before he turned pro, we signed him up at the Mr. Olympia. Then a few weeks later, he won the British Championships and became pro for Gaspari Nutrition. My family has been to every amateur show, and unfortunately, they've never seen me compete as a pro. I think the fact that his parents, for the very first time, can actually see, you know, their son that they obviously admire and look up to and love dearly, they're actually going to get the chance to actually fulfil maybe a dream for them to see their son on an IFBB Pro stage competing. Being in the UK, it's obviously it's got to be more of an emotional sort of driving force, and, and it, it it obviously touches you very deep in, you know, in his heart. You know, Flex Lewis is a very, very, very sensitive, emotional type of person. You know, he he's a very driven athlete. You don't have to motivate him, he's self-motivated, but he's very sensitive as well. Come on, come on, come on, let's go! Come on, do it, huh? Hey, come on, let's go! I met Flex about two years ago. Uh, two years ago here in my gym, he came down and uh, was gonna get a workout in. Uh, he was just a, a stranger to me at the time. And um, we got a workout in that day together. It was, it was real intense, he came to train with me and um, uh, we, had a, we had a crazy intense session and we kind of hit it off right away as training partners. We, we both trained 
uh, similar in the first place. So we, we started doing that more often, and before you know it, it was every day. Sean Barber, my training partner, he has been an awesome, awesome training partner. I can't ask for a better person. He has been there day in, day out. And I'm not the easiest guy to train with, especially when I'm dieting. I'll be truthfully honest with you. We're pretty much best friends. We really got to stay on to each other and make sure that everything's in place all the time, 24 hours a day, because bodybuilding's just not the two hours that you're in the gym, as anybody would know. You know, it's a lifestyle. to see a personal friend of mine, uh, Dr. Wesley Stewart. He's been uh, looking after me for the last uh, year and a bit. He's in great shape, always, um, but it, when he when he first came in, mainly from working out, it, it, with most bodybuilders, it, it's more mid to lower back issues that we have to work with because, because of the extreme training. Um, so that's the, the main focus that I do with him. As a chiropractor, as I locate the joints that are functioning properly, when I adjust them, um, the joints will function properly, the nerves will function properly, which helps him in his training and get the best performance he can as far as training and when he goes to the shows. Doing deep tissue massage and chiropractic work allows me to stay injury free. Um, it's the longevity of my career that I'm thinking of. And the fascia as it wraps around the muscle, because it does have layers, if you peel it down into your basic layer where you get right into the muscle, it makes a lot more room for the muscle to actually expand and grow. When the fascia gets too tight, they can't grow. The plateau, so to avoid a plateau, you get stretched every week. It's not a very loving massage, but it's a necessary massage for bodybuilders, because you want to grow and also keep some injury free. I'm trying to be the best. My goal is to be a 2 or 2 Mr. Olympia. So um, I've been doing uh, many different things, um, you know, to get to that dream and goal of mine, you know. It's fast to improve because he's holding himself better, but also the fact that he's put that added muscle mass in those areas. You know, as I said, it's about a, being a three-dimensional complete physique. And I always say that you're only as strong as your weakest muscle group. And, you know, Flex has made so much dramatic improvements with his overall structure. You know, it's gonna be very, very exciting when he walks on stage. That's one thing good about Flex. He's very personable, and that's what makes him a great pro, and that's what makes him a great ambassador for Gasparri Nutrition. I gave him a year off, well, he wanted a year off. And, you know, sometimes competing, you do burn out and you need that time off to just regroup and see what you can do to change your plans to try to come in, you know, like he wants to come in bigger, fuller, more symmetrical. And I think he's going to be able to do that. I feel that Flex could be the one to win the Mr. Olympia very easily. I mean, the guys that he can compete with uh, that I feel are like the big names are the, um, are the Kevin English and the Dave Henry. Those two guys are phenomenal little guys that have a lot of muscle in their frame and Flex can be one of those guys to go on the stage, and I feel because he has such better shape, uh, better presentation, that he can win and beat those guys. This year we knew what we had to fix. We're on the road to a better bodybuilder for sure.